we are in the evil garage. And I finally, the other day, cleaned up a little bit. There was absolutely no space on this floor. Um, so, now I can actually walk through the garage and I've got a little bit of workspace. So what I'm going to do, I've still got to do some organization. Look at this junk. <laughs> but, my workbench literally was completely like... No space. There's some popcorn I'm eating. There was absolutely no space on this workbench. So now I've got some actual workspace. Got my little, this is a little stand that I made to work on uh, skulls, latexing skulls. Anyway, oh, and I've started making some uh, freak show um, photos to hang in the haunt. Dog boy, two-headed boy. Got another frame here with nothing in it. So I'm working on that, and I am going to finish my Bucky. This is one of those little smaller Bucky's. Uh, during one of the last make and takes when we were at James's house, when we were doing the uh, latex molds, I took this because I had already done a latex mold. I went ahead and took this and worked on this during that make and take, so you probably saw some of this in a previous vlog. If you've been watching, so I'm going to finish this today. I'm not going to put more latex. I've already added quite a bit of latex. Um, this is cotton balls, latex, and then, of course, some creepy cloth uh, is on here. What I'm going to use is liquid nails. So I'm going to go ahead and put a coating of liquid nails on this thing. I've heard about it, but I've never done it. So... But I'm giving you guys a good look so far at the latex, creepy cloth, and cotton balls. It looks pretty good when you do that. Um, it looks like you've got some tendons going on here with the cotton. I've also sprayed it a little bit with, you know, hit it here and there with some black spray paint. Um, in the eye sockets especially to darken those up. Okay, so I will turn the camera off and get my tripod set up and we'll start putting some liquid nails on here and see how it goes, see how it turns out. Okay, so one Bucky, one Steve's Haunted Yard person a gallon of liquid nails. Yeah, I'm probably going to use some great stuff. Um, interesting, I found out, you know, everyone talks about the different ways to uh, be able to keep using your uh, liquid nails. Completely crazy, but if you, after you're done spraying it, will just put a screw in the end, like that, if you just pull that screw out, it sprays right out of the thing, no matter how long. This one I haven't used in probably a week um, or longer. I don't know what it does, but it actually doesn't let it dry in the tube. You pull this out and it works just fine. You don't have to clean the thing out. You don't have to pull anything off. Just put a screw in the end after you're done with it. Try it. It works. So, I haven't used this one in a while it will definitely seal itself in there, the screw wheel. So, you basically unscrew the nail, or the, the nail, oh my god, unscrew the screw, and let's see if it sprays. And voila, liquid nails. Or, wow, am I confused there? What? Great stuff. So, and then you get a new screen.
screw when you're done spraying. You screw that bad boy in there. Like so. And you're good to go. And then you can use it again. Alright, so that's not what we're here for though. We're here for liquid nails because I've never done this before. Rubber glove. If you're a haunter, you've got to have rubber gloves. You just got to buy, you know, a package of them. I use these freaking things all the time uh, for just about everything. All right. Let's do it. Get you some little pieces like this. Hey, Amy Bear. Hi. Isn't it a good day? It is. It's a beautiful day. You hear the bird chirping out there? Watch this, I can sit through here. Watch. Oh, you can. Barely. And then you can add, you know, add texture like that with more cloth and just add more and more layers. Or just keep going until it looks, you know, as creepy as you want it. And then I'm actually going to go over this with some wood stain. Um, but I gotta let this dry first. I'm gonna add a little more uh, cloth and let this thing dry, and then we'll do the wood stain.
note to self, just put two gloves on. <laughs> Once you start getting into uh, putting everything on there, um, I ended up getting this hand totally nasty and just had to go try to scrub it off before it got all too stuck on there. So let's get a closer look. And he is out here so he can dry. Looks kind of cool hanging on that thing. Makes me want to hang him up kind of high like that. Like on a gallow, that would be cool.